Hello, so in today's video, we're going to look at sketching the graph y equals a over x, where a is just any real number. Um, so you would have seen at GCSE level uh, sketching the graph 1 over x, so y equals 1 over x. And it looks something like this, it's this kind of shape here, uh, this kind of, um, yeah, exactly this kind of shape here. So, I mean, you can kind of use a table of values to see why this is true. If you substitute an x is, uh, equal, uh, equal to 1, uh, you get 1 divided by 1, which gives you 1. If you substitute in x equals 2, you get 1 divided by 2. That gives you a half. So, I mean, this isn't really a very good diagram, but that should be a half there, essentially, this uh, this point there. Um, and you can do the same with the negative part as well. Substitute in x equals minus 1. You, you would get minus 1 there because 1 divided by minus 1 is minus 1, and so on and so on. So that's your kind of shape for this kind of graph. Um, I mean, I'll come on to this in a minute. Actually, I'll come into it now, I think. Um, yeah, when you make this a value, so the number on your numerator bigger, uh, what will happen is what we see here. So basically, the graph is just going to get uh, bigger. So, for example, y equals 2 over x, this red one, is just going to be double the original black graph, double the original y equals 1 over x, because you've doubled the y coordinate because you just multiplied two, uh, this one by the number 2 up there. So therefore... Yeah, this uh, this red graph is double the original one. So, for example, if that's one there, if the x value is one. Uh, for the black graph, that would be one. But for the red graph, this would be two there. And then for the blue graph, where we've got three lots of uh, one over x, basically, or three over x, uh, that would be three there because you're now trebling the original one over x graph, the original reciprocal graph. And the same kind of idea here, that would be minus one. Uh, this would be, should be minus two down there. And uh, this should be minus three uh, down there. Sorry, that should be a three, sorry, a two there. Um, okay, great. So we've got uh, a rough idea of what happens when we increase the numerator to these graphs. Uh, it just uh, it just increases the y values. It so just doubles, trebles, quadruples, and so on and so on. Uh, those are y coordinates. Um, so yeah, so now going to this uh, slide here. So a, a word that you may not have seen before or a term you may not have seen before is this term asymptote or asymptotes. Uh, so an asymptote is basically a line where a, a function or a, or, a, or a graph of a function does not cross through. So for example, uh, if, if we just say that this is the graph y equals one over x, we have two asymptotes here. So um, we have an asymptote on this red dotted horizontal line on the x-axis. So we have an asymptote so asymptote at so on the line uh, on the line well on the x axis which is just the same as the line y equals zero because the y coordinate is zero on the x axis so the asymptote we've got one asymptote on the line y equals zero and we've also got another asymptote on the line x equals zero so on the uh, on the y axis so we've got an asymptote at uh, on the line sorry I should say so on the line uh, x equals zero this time. Uh, so yeah, again, the key thing is that an asymptote is just a line in which uh, in which a function does not pass through. So it, we, the, the one over x graph never passes through the, the x-axis of the y equals zero line, and it never passes through the y-axis, we can see through the graph, the x equals zero line, because um, basically the function is not defined on these lines. So for example, if you substitute in x equals zero, to this uh to this uh this expression here one over x you get one over zero that's undefined so we know that x equals zero must be an asymptote um so that gives us this asymptote there now how do we determine this other asymptote this y equals zero asymptote um i mean well you could just rearrange this equation here to get x equals one over y and you can see that when y is zero Again, one divided by zero is not defined. So the X coordinates are not defined at this point on the graph. So therefore the graph never crosses through the X axis. It never crosses through Y equals zero. So that's how you can determine where the asymptotes lie, um, just by saying, well, in order for a fraction to be defined, the denominator must be non-zero. So let's just make the denominator equal to zero. And then we can get our asymptotes and then we can rearrange for X and make the denominator equal to zero there. And we also get those asymptotes as well. Um, so, yeah, we don't really need to know in A-level maths. We don't really need to worry more about the, the asymptotes um, 
than than this really we just need to worry about rearranging and getting the two asymptotes uh for example with this graph here and um i mean the same thing with actually with these other graphs as well the y equals two over x or y equals three over, three over x uh, the asymptotes are all the same and that's because when you divide by zero it's undefined and when you rearrange for x and divide and do three divided by y when y is zero again that's undefined so again you will get the asymptotes um at x equals zero and also the asymptotes at y equals zero as well um so again two asymptotes two asymptotes uh at x equals zero so i'll write that again uh x equals zero and y equals zero um so yeah that's a summary of uh the one over x graphs and the uh well the a over x graphs for real values of a